Stan Jabalisco here from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of atrocious temperatures. Well, you're going to laugh at me up in Alaska, but uh, I'm expecting it's going to get down to around minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, but the wind is blowing quite uh, quite enough to chill a car down in a hurry after you shut it off in the open country and uh, even under cover. Uh, so I've got a little trick that I'm using because I have what you might call a California special <laughs> vehicle in Dakota Territory, which is uh, perhaps like my California special body well, no, not a California special, more like a, uh, a Tanzania special. <laughs> Skinny as hell, gets cold when it's 80 degrees. What the hell am I doing in Dakota Territory? That's one of the great mysteries of the universe that might be resolved by uh, a gift that my nephew gave me for Christmas. Came a little bit late, but it's a book uh, about... Uh, the cosmos and mysteries of the cosmos. And one of the great mysteries of the cosmos is why do people insist on driving tropical cars in Arctic climates? Well, okay, I do, and I have a trick for those other of you fools who are in a similar situation. Uh, a, that is to say, a car that won't start if it's allowed to cool all the way down at plus 20 degrees Fahrenheit etc etc I run the bloody thing for a good hour uh, when it's going to be really cold at night and there aren't very many of them really in the black holes this is an unusually cold winter it yeah it burns fuel and yeah those of you who are say this is bad for this reason or that reason or the other reason but it's a heck of a lot cheaper and easier than having to have the bloody thing towed in every morning to the shop. So, I run it for a good solid hour. I get the thing really warm. It's front wheel drive. The transmission malfunctions when it gets cold, but it's front wheel drive. It's under the engine. All that whole compartment gets nice and warm. And then I have a down comforter, a huge king size down comforter, <laughs> better than I use for myself, that I put over the hood of that car, over the radiator, over all of the air gaps, everything after I've shut it off, of course. And then I put firewood logs all over the thing to hold it down because the slightest puff of wind will lift that thing off of there. And it's a it's good for about maybe 12 to 18 hours after that under these conditions. Now, if you have a bona fide blizzard, if you're out in the open country and the wind is whipping up 40, 50 mile an hour, and you're going to have your car sitting out there uh, under those conditions, and it happens to be a San Diego special, the only thing I can say to you is, suffer, you fool. You're getting what you deserve. <laughs> At least I had the foresight to live in mountain country rather than prairie country. Is that foresight or is that just happenstance? You tell me. But anyway, the happenstance is that the thing will start tomorrow and I will be good to go and get up to the Deadwood Rec Center so that I can go, you guessed it, swimming. Stan Jubilisco signing off. Until next time, if I'm still alive, well, even if I'm not, I'll come back from the dead for you. So long. <laughs>